What's up everyone, I'm Alex with the Signal RGB team here to give you the yearly Signal RGB development recap. I'm only going to cover the things I think are most critical, or else this video will be extremely long. If you want a deeper look at our development, then I've created a spreadsheet which I'll leave a link to in the video description. In 2023, we added support for over 400 new devices and components, all of which you can see on the spreadsheet. We added support for more Wi-Fi devices and put them all in a new tab labeled Network. As of this video, we support LeetDesk, Cololite, Govi, Nanoleaf, Philips Hue, sRGB mods, Twinkly, and WLED. We made improvements to Intel SM bus drivers, which means we've improved support for RAM on Z690 and Z790 systems. We've implemented real-time plugin updates. That means that we can update your device without you needing to update the entire application. One morning you could wake up and whatever issue your device had could be resolved. Speaking of plugins, there is now a plugin rating system in the devices page. This allows everyone to rate plugins and provide feedback for any device issues you might have been facing. And that goes hand in hand with our real-time plugin updates. You can bring an issue to our attention using this rating system and have your issue potentially resolved in the next few days without needing to update the entire application. We made screen ambience free to use for everyone and also added a new HD mode. We added support for USB temperature sensors, which means you can make effects that react to your system temperatures. You'll see this in some of our future effects. Thanks to our Discord moderator, Naito Shado, Signal RGB can support over 1200 QMK keyboards with public Git forks and repos. I'll leave all of the info you need to get started with your QMK keyboard in the video description. If you don't see your QMK supported keyboard firmware in the sRGB mods QMK binary repo, then feel free to ask in the QMK support channels on the plugin testing Discord server. Our community members can work together to create QMK device plugins. Finally, we've seriously optimized resource usage and fixed over 60 instances that caused Signal RGB to crash. If you had problems with Signal RGB in the past, then it's worth giving it another chance. This is also a good time to mention that if you do decide to try Signal RGB again, it's now going to show you which apps are conflicting and try to auto-close them for you. I recommend running the Signal RGB installer as administrator for the best results. Signal RGB also now does a basic device configuration when you first install it, so you should be able to select an effect and see it working on all of your devices if everything is supported and physically connected correctly. However, I still recommend watching our tutorials to see how to get deeper control of your devices beyond the basic auto configuration. I'll link the tutorial playlist in the video description. We're not perfect, but we are constantly improving and we appreciate everyone's patience and support while our small team continues to work to bring you the best experience possible. You can continue to expect us to be transparent about our development, and if you want to stay in the loop, then you can join our Discord server where we announce all of our updates. Some of the things we have planned for the future includes adding more Wi-Fi devices, improving macro key support, fan control for fans connected to motherboards, LCD control, animated desktop capture, support for more languages, and last but certainly not least, AMD GPU support, and basic color control for GPUs that can't be controlled in real time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at next year's recap video. Thank <laughs> you.